<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Ola England here and today I'm trying out Superior Drummer 3 for the absolute first time. It's been out for a while, but I haven't had a chance. I've been on tour and, you know, just been busy with other stuff. So I'm finally getting to try it out. I'm very excited and uh, I'm going to share this moment with you guys. And if you haven't heard about Superior Drummer 3 already, it's basically the flagship or the king of kings when it comes to drum sampling, basically. And uh, I mean, the app is totally immense. It has seven different drum kits with 25 different snares and 16 different kick drums. I mean, it's just a massive library. And uh, if you install all of it, it's 230 gigabytes of data or gigabytes of data. And it's just, <laughs> it's just, you need hard drive space if you want to do this. You can decide not to install all of the drum samples, but I would recommend you should because then you're getting all the bleed microphones, you're getting the, the whole room microphone experience and it's just a lot more immense and it's just going to be way cooler experience for you to build your own drum kit and to be able to create your unique drum kit because, I mean, the options are just endless, basically. So, uh, yeah, let's load it up. I have it in Logic Pro X here. Uh, Superior Drummer 3, multi-output, and uh, coffee break. And there it is. So, some of you people might recognize the user interface. It looks a bit more like Easy Drummer 2 rather than Superior Drummer 2, which is a good thing, of course, because the Easy Drummer 2 interface was really made for the songwriter rather than the drummer. Obviously, when you open up the app, you have the drum kit, like this, like always. And um, you also have the grooves segment here, which is probably my favorite part about Easy Drummer 2, is where you can search for different uh, MIDI tracks. If you wanted a simple That's a little bit weird, but okay, I want a drum uh, MIDI like that. It shows the matching MIDI. You just drag the MIDIs out here and create your own drum track. Just if you want to do something, make a quick song or anything like that. The grooves part is just super awesome. I love that part uh, because it takes away the process of me having to write MIDI drums which is something that's very time consuming. So now I can quickly just make a song. It's super awesome. Then we have the mixer part and the mixer part is a lot different than the Easy Drummer 2 because in Superior Drummer 3, you will have a lot more options to mix in-house inside the actual application. And uh, the different effects that you have here, there's so much you can do. So that's a very cool thing. You can mix inside the application rather than going and doing all the outputs outside. So it's really easy for you to move your kit or use it in another environment. I can just bring on the same kit in my MacBook, for instance, and bring it on tour. And then we also have the tracker part, which is super awesome. Say I have a real drum kit. Uh, I recorded the latest Fear album. Uh, and uh, I use Kevin Talley, who's the drummer. And he sends his uh, raw drum tracks to me. They're super awesome, but I want to add a sample. That's where the tracker is super awesome. Okay, I have a raw snare sample here. I just drag it into the tracker like this, drop. Have a sip of coffee while it's analyzing. And he says that I just dumped the snare file into the tracker and now it already has made a MIDI track after my original snare. And it's automatically when I'm playing, triggers the superior drummer snare. So easy is that just to add an extra sample to an already analog drum kit. So that's super awesome. I'm really looking forward to using that a lot. Okay, let's remove this. So, I'm going to try and, um, and uh, sample some of the presets that are in Superior Drummer 3. Mid metal, okay. Cool. So I'll use that. 
maybe a chorus. Cool. And a, yeah, a tom section. Perfect. This is just to have something running in the background while I'm demoing the different presets. So, okay. So this is the standard de default kit that's loaded when you uh, just open Superior Drummer 3 for the first time. Here are all the different drum kits that are available. Obviously, if you have Easy Drummer 2 and all the Easy Drummer um, kits, you they will show up here as well. Okay, so let me check out some metal kits right now. Gent style, of course. Let's go with Gent first. So, as you can see, it takes a while uh, for the app to actually load in the kit uh, and all the different layers. And this sounds killer, this preset. Just out of the box like that, it sounds super amazing. And if I just want to change out the snare, I just right click, look at this. Obviously, there's no snare at that part. That's sick. And here I have a bunch of controls. I can detune if I want to. So, I mean, just having all these different parameters to change you can really make your own drum kit using this from all these different kit parts. It's really amazing. Okay, let me change to another type of preset. Into the Iowa. Slipknot. Is that the Slipknot sound? I have no idea. Okay. That sounds sick, actually. Texas Mel, that must be Pantera. Is it loaded in already? Or? Yeah, that sounds killer. So I'm already... So right now I'm just checking out the default presets and I mean there's just a bunch to choose from. And then I have all the cool guest artists as well or guest producers who have made presets for this app. Yeah, these, uh, these all sound awesome. Okay, let's check out the Andy Sneep kits. Let it load. Cool. Mark Lewis. We have to check out Mark Lewis presets. Mark Lewis is the guy who makes the latest or the new Feared album Svart. Yeah, this sounds killer. Pearl. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, all the presets that I've loaded so far, all of them have sounded really good. What's this? Bob Rock. Okay, this is probably something big sounding. Yep, I was right. really snappy sounding kit. I must say I'm 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 really liking these presets to be honest. Okay let's check out the mixer real quick see what's up here. Okay so we have all the kicks here. Rack Tom Ambience, 
X kick, that's an extra like sample for this kit, I guess. And then you have different groups. And as you can see here, you're using a bit of compression. Classic, what's this? Classic compressor. So yeah, I mean, it's you can mix everything inside the actual app, which is super awesome. So if I want to say, add something to the complete drum kit, Punch Exciter. Sounds like something for me. Okay, so I guess it would be kind of cool to load up a song and see how these presets would fare. Okay, let me open up a song. Yeah, that sounds about right. Good, okay? That's perfectly synced. Okay. So now we have everything synced. Here are the real drums. Here are the MIDI drums that I did for this album. And obviously, obviously when I'm recording or making songs for Feared, I'm making drum MIDI first, and then I send it to Kevin Talley, the drummer, who creates his own drums or even his own drum pattern. So the drum MIDI here will definitely not be the same as the real drums. So I'm muting the real drums because I want to hear how Superior Drummer sounds in a mix. All these other tracks are stems from the album, so they're mixed by Mark Lewis. So we have this, let's see. Try Mel Pearl kit. See what that sounds like. Okay. Let me let, let me mix this a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy with the sound how it is like not right now. It's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I haven't even done anything and the presets sound super awesome. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea what to say. I mean, I think it sounds really good. And I mean, if... If you're interested in, uh, you know, getting like the, uh, the raw tracks and the raw stems of any Feared album, you can buy like the, uh, there's a extra deluxe edition that you can buy from the website. You get all the uh, raw tracks and all the stems and you get the drums as well. If you want to mix yourself or uh, want to do anything like, the, like that yourself, you're also getting the MIDI drums. So uh, yeah, if you're into that, you can get that from the feardband.com website. I'm super impressed by this song. 
and I haven't really dwelled into the app even. I haven't really started mixing anything. Right now, I've just been setting the levels, and it sounds really good, I must say. Yeah, I haven't even scratched the surface of the, uh, this uh, app, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm currently very happy, as you might see. So, uh, you should definitely go check out the new Superior Drummer Free. Just seeing how they kind of, they're leading the game, basically, for songwriters in general. And it's, uh, it's really inspiring, I must say. And I can't wait to really, really dwell into this and uh, just start writing new songs. If you want more of this... Check out tunetrack.com. If you want to know more about the stuff I use to make these videos, check the description below for links. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.